Big news for the greatest generation. I'm talking about your parents and maybe even your grandparents. The ones who did the most incredible thing. They won World War II for you. And now a push to build in the heart of Washington, D.C., a monument honoring one of our greatest military leaders and greatest presidents, President Dwight D. Eisenhower. President Eisenhower, a five-star general, served as supreme commander of the Allied forces in Europe, even planning D-Day. He was elected president in 1952 during his time in the Oval Office. President Eisenhower supervised the desegregation of our military and of our schools. Former Senator Bob Dole and Senator Pat Roberts are now trying to get that very deserved memorial for their fellow Kansan. Senator Dole, Senator Roberts, nice to see both of you. Thank you, Greta. All right, you got a great project going, um, a memorial for President Eisenhower, is that right? That is correct. Uh, Dwight David Eisenhower, a great general, a great president, a man who liberated millions during World War II, uh, a man who uh, preserved Western democracy uh, from Adolf Hitler's Third Reich and then gave us eight years of peace and prosperity. I, I don't know of anybody uh, that is more deserving uh, than Dwight David Eisenhower, than Ike, is of a memorial uh, on the mall. And we're close. We've been 16 years since Congress authorized this memorial, and it still has not been built. And some of us older World War II veterans would like to be there for the dedication. And so we need to start, and we're going to try to raise the money privately. And I might add that you were the first contributor. <laughs> well, not the biggest, but may, may have been one of the first. But, uh, you know, there's so much people don't know about Eisenhower. They, they remember Eisenhower in terms of that he was a general, um, that he was uh, led D-Day, uh, helped plan D-Day. Um, but even as president, he was, uh, he, he supervised the desegregation of the military. He sent federal police down or sure. marshals down to Little Rock to enforce right. desegregation of the school. I mean, there's so much the American people, I mean, he was a hero in so many ways. Well, he had the interstate highway system. I don't, there's a whole laundry list you can go down that he did during his tenure as president. Uh, I think some of the historians sort of view him as a grandfather president. Uh, I think he, he gave us peace and prosperity. He, he gave us that aberration that we experience every once in a while, and that is peace and prosperity and stability. But we've got a pretty good list of people that we're going to start contacting after this announcement. Yes, sir. And of, course, done. and of course, they, if anyone wants, can just go to the website and contribute. You don't have to be contacted, or anyone can call you with uh, big contributions. Yes, ma'am, that is the case. Okay. Anyway, thank you both, and uh, you know, we got to get this done. Thank you, Greta. Thank you for your contribution. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, for the rest of this interview with Senator Bob Dole and Senator Pat Roberts, and it's pretty long, head over to GretaWire.com, and you can also help find out how you can help with this monument. If we all help, we can actually do this. And a brand new